I'm Brendan Gulick. Welcome to Buckeye Breakdown. Let's talk defensive backs here. Um, two guys in particular I want to spotlight because I think we've talked a lot about Cam Brown and Denzel Burke, and we can sing their praises on a daily basis. Um, Ronnie Hickman has sort of emerged as a terrific star. I mean, this kid can really, really make tackles. Uh, fun to watch him play. On the other side, you know, you, you mentioned draft stock rising for Haskell Garrett. Draft stock's probably sinking right now for seven banks. He has not had a good year so far uh, and struggled to get on the field early on. Now he's at least out there. Um, so perhaps those two guys in particular, why Ronnie Hickman playing so well and, and why is seven banks struggling? Well, well, we'll start with the negative. I want to get it out of the way and then we can finish with uh, with, with my, my heartthrob right now, uh, Ronnie Hickman on the defensive side of the ball. Um, yeah, I guess seventh round banks is really kind of where he's trending right now. And maybe, I mean, by the end of the season, he might be undrafted free agent banks. But I, I think that he, right now he's he's in a situation where he just looks out of sorts. I don't know if he's hurt, um, you know, because it's not indicative of what he's done up to this point in his career. He looks stiff. He looks out of, he looks just kind of, out of sorts, and it's not like they're doing that much different stuff in the secondary, so it should be that much of a confusing year for him. And like I said last week in my article, you know, Kanate Mumfield from from Akron, you know, ran circles around him, and it was it was interesting to see that. You know, really, I think Akron kind of picked on him a little bit um, early in the game, and the game got out of hand, so they didn't have the opportunity to do that. But I, it's really important to see. You know, going forward, you know, hopefully he's going to come back to kind of the player he is. He's a great kid. You really hope you wish nothing but the best for him in that situation. But he just looks out of sorts, Brent, and he looks stiff. He doesn't move as well. And he's fallen around. And we, we've talked about the turf at Ohio State. You know, I, I, part of it's the cleats. Um, but like I said last week, the Akron Zips had to play on the same turf, and they, they weren't falling down. So I And they're both Nike teams. So I don't know what the uh, what, what happened there uh, from that standpoint. But um, the positive sign, Ronnie Hickman. You talk about development, and I don't row the boat, you're out there. This is a kid that's being developed week in and week out. He's buying into the process. And everyone goes, well, what's the process? The process is getting reps. The more repetition you get, the better you're going to get. Anything in life you want, the more reps you take at it, the better you get at it. To the point where he's just playing really, really at a high level right now. He's mentally preparing himself where you can see he's there's times where he flashes where he's making plays before the play happens in his mind and then his body's reacting which is what you want to see he's also been physical he's playing with a chip on his shoulder he's gaining that confidence where he walks into the facility every day and he's loving loving playing Ohio State football I mean Ronnie Hickman has come so far in such a short period of time I think we're watching one of the special safeties uh really for the Buckeyes uh, going forward, and, and I'm excited to see you know his continued development this weekend. He's going to have you know his opportunity to not only fit in the run game, but also have the ability to try to cover up a very efficient, uh, a very efficient but quiet passing game uh, for Rutgers, and, and hopefully he can make some you know maybe cause their first interception of the season, uh, and really that turnover uh, that could be a big one for him to get this thing rolling. 